Got Fox NBA analyst Rick Buecher in. Sleep the ruler. There it is. Only me. Do your friends ever call you that, the ruler? Sometimes. I'm about to call you that. All right. Give him a little. I'm patch. good with that. I'm gonna get some chains on him and all that. Slick. Slick. Who is more influential to their sport? Ooh. Uh, it's not Steph close. Curry or Patrick Mahomes? Hold yeah, up. it's not close. Ain't close? No, it's not close. close. That's clear. I mean, it's Steph Curry. Steph Curry has changed the way everybody plays the game. The one issue that I have, and of course I have an issue, because LeBron James is the one who said it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of. He said, <laughs> said single-handedly, yeah. and that's not accurate. Because, and he didn't do it the second he came into the league. Because if the, if the Warriors True. don't win collectively, mm. we're not following the lead of how Steph Curry plays. And Steph Curry wasn't everything that Steph Curry is when he first came into the league. The dude could barely stay healthy, yeah. right? It was the combination of playing through Draymond Green as a point forward, allowing Steph Curry to play off the ball, mm. defensively what they were, Klay Thompson Ooh. being the splash brother. Mm. Like, if you take those pieces away, yeah. I don't know that Steph has the same impact mm -hmm. on the entire league and the way everybody plays as a result. So that's where the single-handedly, it's a little bit more than that. Was he the nucleus and what he's the driving force? No question, because he was such a unique talent. But it, it was a combination of the Warriors' success yeah. and how they were built that allowed that to happen. Yeah, I... I would tend to agree with that. I, I, I wouldn't put so much emphasis like the heavy handedness of single handedly, mm. a lot of hands in this, so much on single handedly. I think he's speaking more to just the pure style of play. Obviously, the winning and everything yes. and, the, and the style that the Warriors play lifted Steph up. And that's why we talk about Draymond the way that we do, because without Draymond, they're not going to have the success that they have playing that, that style. But Steph Curry, as a player, yeah. what he is capable of the range that he has, the consistency that he has, his ability to hit any shot at any moment, I think has truly influenced the sport of basketball on a massive, massive level. Because you can't, you can't make yourself LeBron James, as we discussed yesterday. Yeah. You are chosen to be LeBron James. God has to design you that way. You don't wake, you don't wake up six foot nine. You just don't. You're either born that way or you're not. Mm -hmm. Steph Curry isn't, isn't a, a footer. He isn't, he isn't going to overwhelm you with physical daunting. He's, he is not going to power you through the court. He is a strong player. He's stronger than people think he is. Mm -hmm. But people design their game this, to the yeah. style of Steph Curry. That has influenced the college level. It's influenced the high school level. And it has made people feel that they can make it to that level if they can master those shots. And it, it has truly changed everything. And it's changed thing on the, on things on the defensive end because if you can't – defend the perimeter at all, you are now a liability. Mm. You have to be able to move around the court. So I think Steph has, as, as an individual, influence the sport. So I just want to know, before I get my tape, we gonna let him get away with this? What do you I mean, what, 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 what? We gonna let him get away with this? I mean, he acting like Steph Curry is a regular guy. Like, it's all the guys running mayhem. Let's, let's, really, let's really dive deep into it, because I didn't like that, first of all. Steph Curry is the difference maker, right? We talk about Klay Thompson, who I love Klay Thompson. Swagger and all that, right? He's just being himself. Mm -hmm. They, Steph Curry was there first. Yep. They brought Clay on. Mm -hmm. Do you think the Warriors draft Clay Thompson if it ain't for Steph Curry? Let's match it up for a second. I got a skill player can shoot from anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. I go out here and get a shooting guard that the, shoots the same way. Mm -hmm. That makes that makes the, the, the team. Draymond Green, who's one of my favorites, one of my dogs, mm -hmm. right? Send me his jersey and all that, right? Is Draymond Green the same dude for the Spurs, for the Sixers, no. or the Lakers? So playing with Steph Curry, yeah. I got you better. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got you having a role where now people want to say, you know what? I want to go out there and get a, uh, um, a guy like Draymond Green because I see what he does with Steph Curry sure. and the Warriors. Sure. Let's look at Steve Kerr. I think Steve Kerr is a really, really good coach. You don't think it make his job a lot easier? When you got a dude like Steph Curry, sure. the three-point lines right here, I'm shooting 10 feet behind that. But you're making my point. Let me, no, no, let me finish. Let me finish because I do think that Steph Curry is the difference maker out of him and um, 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 Patrick Mahomes. But when you said about the, the role players, like, kind of like they helping Steph, it's the other way around. Because now when I'm playing a basketball game, right, there's four, five players on the court. Sometimes it can get cluttered in there, right? I, I remember when uh, the Lakers brought over um, Russell Wilson, Russell Westbrook and, uh, and, um, Ron, and um, Rondo. I said, it ain't going to work. There's not enough space on the court. 
When you play with Steph Curry, it's so much space. Yeah. When Kevin, when Kevin Durant came over there, right, it was so much space. Of course, we all can shoot. Thank we got to follow Steph Curry from the from the time he gets to the arena to the time he <laughs> steps on the court. We got to cover him. But can it be both? No, it cannot be both. Because what, if, what Steph, well, if Steph what? Curry is not there, it is not a show. And if Draymond Green is not there and Klay Thompson is not there and Steve Kerr is not the coach, is Steph doing all of this by himself? I mean, I mean, no, he whoa, 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 no superstar does it by himself. Oh, Michael okay. Jordan included. Nobody does it by himself. Okay. That's one part. The second part is we can go out and get some players that's like that's like Clay. We can go out and get some guys that's like Draymond. Oh. You can't? I, I mean, don't make me sit here and name you some players. Okay. If you take <laughs> if you make me another point forward who's done what Draymond Green has done with the Warriors oh, and won championships. We give it Draymond. Uh, we'll, we'll take that to another Say, day. No, 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 no. Okay, because he said give championships. See, but no, no, no. He what? said the championships to kind of, to kind of give me a, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. championships. Well, that's are hard what to get. matters. That's why, that's why everybody's replicating what they're doing. No, it's because they want championships. Not that you can only replicate it if you have Steph Curry. That's what I'm saying. And if you look at the plus minuses when he does play and he don't play, when he's off the court, when he's on the court, it's a difference. I'm another, not saying another, he's not a difference maker. Another thing with the Steph Curry. I said single-handedly. That's the one thing. But single-handedly, you can't do that. You can't do that. Like nobody does. Single-handedly in a, in a <laughs> nobody does it single-handedly in nobody. a sport. Okay. We're speaking to specifically yeah. oh, so this. Why did he say that? Well, I mean, I don't want. I don't. We don't need to like slick. slice and dice it down to what what he's I saying. I think you know. I know <laughs> what he's saying. He's saying who has been more influential on their sport, yeah. Patrick Mahomes or Steph Curry? Patrick yeah. Mahomes isn't doing it alone. He's an incredible all-time player. He's got Andy Reid and Travis Kelsey and Chris Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Like nobody does it alone. Nobody, yeah. nobody single-handedly I, does I, it. I agree with you, Slick. It's not close. I do agree with you on that. It is, it is Steph Curry by far. Yep. It's little kids out there. I'm ye I yell at my little kids all the time. Shoot another three. I'm taking you out myself. <laughs> Period. If coach ain't got to do it, I'm going to do it. You are not Steph Curry. Mm. But it's been some great shooters in the NBA before Steph. The Reggie Millers, the Ray Allens. And you know what it still was all about? Getting in the paint, dunking the basketball, fadeaways. It wasn't no three-point shooting. Ever since Steph Curry, every NBA team trying to find those shooters now right. to space the floor to do all that. Yeah. And you're trying to find guys like Steph Curry. And like Joy said, the man is 6'3 slash 6'4. He ain't got no triceps or none of that busting out his uniform. If you've seen him in the grocery store with a hat on and a hoodie on, you'd probably be like, huh, who that? Yeah. You, you, you wouldn't even know. True. And the dude is one of the best players ever. Yeah. He changed the whole way that these little kids are playing the game because no these argument. little kids cannot be LeBron James. You just do not have the ability to size, none of that. But you have a chance, if you work on your game, to try to be a Steph Curry. And little kids watching him is like, I could shoot like Steph Curry one day. And he's just changing the whole game of basketball, the way he play. And LeBron's right. With him, the way he can shoot the three ball, you train threes for twos. Ain't no lead safe if yep. Steph Curry and these boys can get high. I, I think we all agree on that. The question I want to pose to, to you three is, when it comes to the NFL and football, mm -hmm. I would make the case that Cam Newton is, is a closer example of someone who has changed we'll break that down and influenced us. the game. How you figure that? Because so wait, wait, wait. So you're saying, so you're saying Cam's nowhere near as good as these guys, think, though. You I'm think that about. Cam Newton has been more influential on the NFL than Patrick Mahomes? That is what I'm saying. Mm. Because he was the first dual threat uh, quarterback to win MVP and to go to a Super Bowl. He was the first one that you looked at and said, you know what? Our quarterback doesn't just have to stay in the pocket to be a threat. We can, we can put the ball in his hands. And now the rules have changed, and this is one of the things that I think has benefited both Patrick and Steph, is that the rules have also benefited the way they're built, that they're able to do what they can do. Because sure, the there was a time... And the protection of the quarterback. I mean, and, yeah, same um, with the protection of the quarterback, and same with, like, when I first started covering the league, like, you couldn't, if you were built like Steph Curry, you yeah. had to spend a year or two in the weight, weight room, room. Yeah. to put on 20, 25 pounds just to be able to get your shot off. Mm. Yeah. That doesn't happen anymore. No, so touch. that's that's allowed guys built like Steph and to have his skill uh, set right. to come in and have, make an impact right away. But I look at what Cam did and how he made it acceptable that we're going to run our quarterback. We're going to we're going to have plays that run our quarterback, and we can win playing that way. He, I would say that Cam ran so that Lamar Jackson could run more. I don't, I, I, I totally disagree. How so? I mean, these dudes we talk about is elite, elite, elite. 
Cam Hart had one good year being the league quarterback, being the best. I'm not. Uh, but if even 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 every but I'm not year. talking about accomplishments. But I'm, but I'm, but I'm talking no, 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 about influencing hold on, hold on. how the game is played. I know, played. but but that does matter though. You can't influence the game if you're not looked at as a as an elite league guy. Went to a Super Bowl, they won MVP. And you're what? not elite if you win an MVP. Listen, listen to what I'm saying for a second. You can't influence a game or a, a, a culture, a, a, a sport if you're not looked at as the elite of the elites. The dudes we talking about right here, these dudes is elite, elite, right? Lamar Jackson. He looked at as an elite, elite, right? And even the Michael Vick, I think he was at first at, at the time. So I was like, oh my God. I don't think Cam is, is nowhere near doing I'm not this. saying he is. But what I, what I, so when you talk about influencing, like influencing is okay, we want to get a player like this. Is that correct? Off the field, too. Off the field or on the field. We want to get a player like this guy, correct? No, I, I understand what Shady's saying. He's saying that Cam's success wasn't sustained long enough and he didn't actually achieve the highest. You know, and so you're saying championships. In order, in order for the sport to truly be changed, like I get what you're saying that that Cam showed that you can actually get to the highest point in the Super Bowl and winning an MVP, being a running quarterback. Well, I will say though, the outlier with Cam is Cam is a physical specimen. I agree. So I you, agree. you again can't just duplicate that. I like agree. you have to be built Agreed. like that. Cam Newton is somebody that probably made uh, someone like a Josh Allen look more interesting because he is yep. built that way. Like you have to have the physical attributes to play yep. the way that Cam played. You did I hear then. what you're saying. You did yes, then. but but what Shady's saying is in order for you to influence generations of the game the way that Steph Curry has, Steph also had to win multiple championships, had to be at the top of the league for a sustained amount of time to sit for other, you know, organizations in the sport and college and high school to say, this is something that is the future. Mm -hmm. To your point, the the rules have changed, so this is something that is sustainable and something I can build an organization around and have success for a long time. I understand what you guys are saying, but I also understand what Slick is saying, too, because when Cam Newton first hit the scene, everybody wanted to be like Cam Newton. Whether you was a black yeah, quarterback, Superman. whatever, the little kids is doing the Superman sign, like, everybody wanted to be like him. Obviously, you cannot sit here and say, mm -hmm. put his stats up there with these quarterbacks, but when you talk about having an influence on the game, Cam Newton, when he stepped in as the Carolina Panthers quarterback, changed the game he was of different. football and changed a lot of these kids' lives out there the way these kids viewed football. I don't really see Patrick Mahomes doing that off the field. On the field, Patty Mahomes is one of the greatest to ever do it. But if we're talking about on and off the field, I truly don't know if Patty Mahomes had a bigger impact than Cam Newton oh on God. and off the field. Oh, my God. I don't. Do people, Cam do people gritty? Do, do, kids, do kids gritty? They did. Yeah, they're greedy. Okay, they so did. I mean, like, so Justin Jefferson's the he's he's what is he? He's he's the most influential. He's a really good player right now. <laughs> this is crazy. What you mean? You <laughs> tell me that they were doing a Superman drink. I mean, I see people all the time it's do the gritties. More than that, though. We, are you at, telling me that this is a crazy conversation? We what, said what that Patrick. You, about to say? you tell me that Tom or um Tam, Cam Newton is more influential than than Patrick Mahomes. How? Look at all the quarterbacks. Look at the, all the quarterbacks in the league right now that That's we look crazy. at and what? that we don't necessarily consider as great <laughs> pocket passers. They don't live off of their arm alone. Josh Allen being one, yeah. right? We have guys who are succeeding as quarterbacks in the league because they are dual threats. Because they're not great. They don't have great arms. They have good arms, but they're also so elusive with the football. Now, Cam, understandably was different. He wasn't elusive. He just would truck dudes. Right. Right? But he introduced this idea that you can go to the Super Bowl with a quarterback who doesn't necessarily throw the ball all that well, but because he's a dual threat, you can get there. Mm. And so it doesn't look exactly the same, but I just look at, I'll go back to Steve Young. Steve Young, one, was a running quarterback mm -hmm. when he came into the league. That's yeah. what he was. No question. When he won MVP in 94, he ran the ball 58 times. They beat the running out of him in order to be, and he was leading in completion percentage and passing yards per game, right? That's yeah. how he became an MVP in the league. Cam Newton ran the ball 132 times. Right. I, but, I, but, I think but, but, I think I'm getting confused. It's Cam's personality, though. He has a great personality, though. Off, the, off the field, from commercials and all that. I, I think I'm looking at that part and not looking at what are you actually doing in the sports world to influence. Like, if we talk about Steph Curry, Patrick Mahomes, Allen Iverson, LeBron, all these guys, one thing they got in common, they was dominant. How did Patrick change Cam the game? Cam was dominant. But, How did Patrick I mean, change but, like, the game? Because but, every quarterback you like, see now the, the gotta first, be able to scramble, first, gotta be able to move a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they have to be able to move for sure, but... But that's the, what Cam the, 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 the number one overall pick
pick in the draft this year is Caleb Williams. What is this comp? Aaron Rodgers. No. no. Wrong. <laughs> Patty Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Aaron Rodgers was doing Patty stuff before Patty. Oh, running and throwing. No, Aaron Rodgers. It's not like it's just crazy. No, they are not. Throwing. Nobody, no, one person has said Caleb Williams is the, I haven't heard, for, for, I'm sorry. The no, comp is, why, the comp is, the comp is Patrick Rogers Mahomes. Face. Yes. I will say this. I went back and I looked at Rodgers' numbers in 2011. Oh, wow, right? some years ago, go ahead. Okay, but I, wanted, I just wanted to go back. Mm -hmm. And if you look at them, they're comparable to Pats this year. Like, in terms of how, how he threw, how many yards he that's threw. That's cool. Uh, all of that. that What's the difference, like, though? That's, that's, see, that's, that's the point I'm trying to make. Aaron started that about, The difference I'm trying to tell y'all, though, is yes, there's players that may look the same, players that might have the same stats. No but question. the main thing that matters is what? Win. Championships. Yeah. So when you ask me about these players not for influ but, huh? But, how can I influence them if I'm not the top dog at it? Bro, uh, Allen uh, Iverson was one of the most influential also, players ever. He got zero championships. But that's, also, that's different. Also, that's oh, tattoos and cool. That's on. the same? No, it's not the same. Time out, time out. I've lost control. You're talking about everyone to be a. No, 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 because it, 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 the show went for else now, Joyce. That's what I'm saying. You talking about you wanted to be a. We're talking about two different things. We're talking about two different things. What LeBron is talking about is the sport itself, how people are drafting, how people develop their game, how teams are being built, the, the, the way that players are specifically focusing on one specific skill from a very young age until now, how defense is being played. Yeah. We're talking about influence in a lot of different ways. Yes, we're moving we around the word influence a lot. All of these players were influential. I think what LeBron is talking about when it comes to Mahomes, and Steph Curry is, how is the game moving forward with the comps of those two players? Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.